I was just messing around. After I had finished composing the record, I thought I had a record and Barely Here was the last track, which kind of leaves on a negative note. But then I'm just like jamming one night and I came up with like that kind of chord. And then I start singing to it and the words, how can we say nothing kind of came out of it. And that's, that's where the last song, which is the title track of the record comes from where I'm just singing, how can we say nothing over and over again. And that's the only lyric. I think that came out of a like a more personal version of that statement. Like how can we say nothing about the things in our lives and what we're going through, but you know, I think given like the context of what has happened in the last, you know, five, six months, like I, I am Palestinian of everyone in my family are refugees from that issue. Uh, my grandparents are on the album cover and they were survivors of the ethnic cleansing. And these are stories that you know, I've been surrounded by my whole life. Like I, I think the album kind of assumes a double meaning now, just given that. Like, and it's not a, it's not a conscious thing. I wasn't trying to make necessarily like a political statement, but I understand how that, it's inevitably going to read that way. And I'm like cool with that because like, how can we say nothing about, you know, a literal genocide that we're watching, especially when it's close to home. My relationship with this project is like constantly changing just because I think when I started writing it in 2021, I was at a very specific place in my life. So I'm just sitting, you know, in my parents' basement where I was living at the time, just looking at like old home videos and stuff and just being like very depressed. I was needing help. Every aspect of my life was kind of just not great. I was not like happy. Like there, there's a point where I literally could just like not even picture like a future for myself, like in any way. And I think a lot of these pieces like came out of sort of those feelings. And, you know, now I feel like I have a very different relationship to this music and I'm able to just look at it for the music and for just like the, the gratification of having finished the project and getting to play these pieces, but I'm not necessarily in that like headspace anymore and I'm in a very different situation in life in every way. Yeah, these are my paternal grandparents. Like I said, they were survivors of an ethnic cleansing. They were lifelong refugees. Like I said, I didn't put them on the record cover for that reason, because I, I actually like selected this photo and even like ordered the records before the events of October, which I was, it was more coming from like a nostalgic place of just like looking at my childhood, looking at my past. This image does not exist anymore. I don't know where the original photograph is. I was scrolling through my phone and I found that I had taken a photo of a scan of this image just on my iPhone. So this is an iPhone picture of a scan of the original. I've tried to track down the original and it's like lost to history. So this is just a lost image of people that are not around anymore. And I thought that was kind of fitting with the whole project especially given like a through line of it is like home video samples and just like places that you can no longer access or go back to.
We recorded it mostly here. We did it in February of 2023, which was maybe not ideal conditions because we're in a uninsulated photo studio with the heat off in the dead of winter. <laughs> and we're also in downtown Windsor. So there's like cars and ambulances and screaming in the neighborhood, literally constantly, like every two or three minutes, there was like something that <laughs> required uh, like redoing a take or something like that. So it was a little frustrating, but I think that kind of adds to the album because like it, it sounds like it was recorded here. For me as a composer, if it doesn't come from a place of wanting to do it and loving it, then you're not going to sustainably like be able to practice and get things done. Like, yeah, I don't have to do it. It's not like being a musician makes all this money and all that. Like, you're kind of choosing to just like spend all your time working on this like esoteric thing that's just for you and your soul rather than like being out there I don't know, like, I, I used to want to be a lawyer, right? I could have done that and made bank, but instead I'm like, oh, I'm in adult poverty and I'm working four part-time jobs and I have a musical project. Uh, you know, it's it's because I love it. There's no other reason why I'd want to do it. Thank you.